hello everyone i just want to say welcome to my page um i'm making this video today because um, i have some major news that i would like to say i am leaving new york and i am moving to florida and i literally Got a promotion at my job. And surprise, the gypsy girl is moving. And I know that this may come to a shock to some people. Some people will probably be like, I already knew. But I was ready for a change. And I've been through these past couple of months and years. I really um, started focusing and growing on me. And what I choose to put power into. And what I choose not to put power into. And I feel like I was ready. You know, I have family in Georgia. I have family in Tampa. I have family all over. But I was ready to be closer to Georgia. Because, you know, my grandmother, she has dementia. And, you know, she is like... She helped my mom raise me. Now, because my dad was never there. But that's neither here nor there. So I have a very close bond with her, and it was sad because I've been up here since 2004. This has been a long time. But I always go back, and I always visit. I always do things. I always, you know, make make a way. But I just wanted to make a video to express that I know some people out there. I spoke to my friends uh, a little bit about this, like feeling stuck and not thinking that you're going in the direction that you want to go. And, you know, like I said in the previous video, a couple of months ago in March when COVID first started, I really hit a rough patch. And I don't know, even know what it, what it could be called, what it was. I was just not in it. And I literally spent three and a half weeks at home. And I felt like maybe for the first week and a half, I was literally maybe depressed. I laid in bed and cried every day and I cried and I cried and I cried and I wasn't eating and my mom was just like what is going on with you she sent everybody to call me I wasn't answering my phone I wasn't on social media I was not being myself I needed I don't know if it was time to regroup time to just be in my thoughts but sometimes my thoughts had me going crazy I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried and all I wanted was my grandmother, which is the crazy part of it. I wanted my grandmother. I wanted my family. I was like, I want to. I want them now. And it was just a craziest feeling of everything that I wanted them. <laughs> my mom just came in the middle of the video. Can you pass me my vision boards and my um my things I can show them? I packed. You packed the vision board? I packed one that could fit. And you packed the other small one too. Yes. Okay, well, I'll get, I'll, I'll get them a sample. Okay, I will get them a sample of my vision board. So, I literally, a uh, couple of years ago, maybe 2018, 2019, I started doing vision boards because I started um, reading that if you want to manifest something, you put it out there and you put power into it and you put action into it. And sometimes you can have faith, but faith, but faith without action is not going to get results. And I, and I used to really be down on myself and I started doing vision boards and I started, you know, going and being around people that made me feel more positive, more lighthearted, more more everything. And I started doing different activities that I wanted to. I wanted to learn how to go do seal pen. I went and did it. I wanted to learn how to go sew. I went and did it. I wanted to now I'm trying to learn how to crochet. Crochet is kicking my behind, but I'm putting myself out there because I felt like a lot of times when I was younger, I didn't put myself out there to do things that I wanted to do. So now I'm doing it in my older years. I'm finding myself so when I find my husband, I don't lose my self-identity. So my vision board, my first one that I actually did is in the middle of my 2021 because I wanted to enhance on it. And so I manifested my move. I manifested some of the things that was on here happen. I manifested a new job. I make a year at my new job. 
So before I made my year, I got a promotion. And my and 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 it's crazy because people at my job is like, oh, you gotta do a year in your position before you can even be eligible to get a promotion. And I did that less than a year. I'm just saying. And so this is my vision board. This is what I have. I literally manifested it right here. Oh, the camera can't see it right there. And I also said the words, you, um, you're hired, land a great job, score a big raise. I put a bold moves, and I've been doing bold moves, and I, I've been really transforming. And all around it has different words that, you know, 2020 is going to be a good year and a new chapter. Like, I really put words in my vision board that I wanted to see and more travel. I had a trip that I had to get canceled because of COVID, but that's neither here nor there. So that is one of my vision boards. And I'm going to show you the other one that I did at my friend's house, right? That doesn't say, no, that's what I did at Natasha's house. This one I did by myself. It was a couple of months into about to come into 2020 and I did one on my own. And I basically put, you know, words like a time to heal, design pure love, toxic people, no goes. Celebrate your passion. I've been really doing that. I put a sewing lady. I've been trying to do more sewing and to shine brighter. Like, I literally manifested. See that right there? My husband come in. Oh, yeah, he come in. All right. But, uh, yeah, this video is just to say, you know, it's been a year. At my job, I got a promotion, and I am moving, and I know that New York will always be there, and I know that the friends and family that I have in New York will always be there, but I'm going to make a way for me and to leave a legacy out here because I feel like a lot of people get swept up in the day-to-day, -day and I'm looking towards the future, and I just want that when 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 God calls me home and he asks me if I did everything I, I, I was supposed to do, yes, God, I did. I want to make a, let me make a wave up in your body, girl. That, well, that don't make a wave, but make a wave in life. Do what you need to do. Take bold moves. Step out on faith. And I'm literally stepping out on faith and it's the craziest shit ever. Because I feel like I want to cry. Because I feel like, you know... Sometimes in life, you really, you really, when you look back at the things that you should have done, and to know that you're going to do something for you and what you want to do, is the best feeling in the world. And don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. Don't let nobody speak negativity into your life. That's number one. The only person, opinion counts, is yours. And, and it took me a long time to understand that. Love me or hate me, don't like me, don't love me, it doesn't matter. But what I'm going to do is to be the best me and to do what I want to do for me. So I just want to say I'm moving. I have the next two weeks to live it up in New York, boy. I need to eat everything in sight. Eat everything in sight and to see friends and family virtually because, you know, it's COVID. And a lot of people don't want to be out there like that, but it is what it is. And we will see how this goes. I'm trying to see if I would like do like a road trip and do a video like in every stop or what or me or along the road. We'll see how <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But it's been a pleasure. And the next well not not next Friday. Not that not, not that Friday. But we have two Fridays from now. And after that, my Fridays will be held in. Tampa. Woo, woo. Okay, bye, y'all.